Geometry E5, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Remember, when we're talking about slopes, we are talking about M. Okay, so if you are comparing two lines and it is told to you that the lines are parallel, then that means that your slopes are always equal. They are always the same. Okay? Now, perpendiculars, not as easy. There's two things, and both of them must happen. Okay? So, if you know the slope of one line, and you're told another line is perpendicular to it, then its slope is opposite what the slope of the first line is, which if so if the first slope, slope is positive, then the second slope is negative. If the first slope is negative, then the second slope is positive. Okay? So opposite and reciprocal. What does reciprocal mean? Flip the fraction. Okay? So both things have to happen, not just one. Line R has a slope of negative 9 over 8. Line S is perpendicular to R. What is the slope of line S? Now, on this one, I could just automatically tell you what the answer is, but because I know what's going to happen later on, maybe in this lesson, but definitely in E6, I'm going to start a little bit of new notation for you so you can kind of understand what's happening whenever we do need to use it. So if this says line R has a slope, we are going to write down, and this is pronounced N, I'm sorry, M sub R, sub as in subscript because it's written smaller and lower. So M sub R, or the slope of R. The slope of R is negative 9 over 8, because that's what it told us. Line S is perpendicular to line R. So automatically, if I know the R slope is negative 9 over 8, then the slope of S or M sub S is what's perpendicular to negative 9 over 8, a positive 8 over 9. Okay, and it says what's the slope of line S, so I've answered it, so I'm finished. Line T is a slope of 5 over 4, so the slope of T is 5 over 4. Line U is parallel to line T. So what is the slope of line T? I'm sorry, of line U. 5 over 4. If it's parallel, you do nothing. You keep it. If you hear snoring in the background, I'm just warning you. It's 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm recording this right now. And that's my dog. <laughs> Okay, so line E has a slope of negative 2 over 7. Line F has a slope of negative 2 over 7. Are line E and line F parallel or perpendicular or neither? Because it could be neither one of them. So if line E has a slope of negative 2 over 7, line F has a slope of negative 2 over 7, they're exactly the same, so they are parallel. Line S has a slope of 7 over 4. Line T has a slope of negative 4 over 7. Are line S and line T parallel or perpendicular? Perpendicular because this one is positive. This one's negative. 7's on top here. 7's on bottom there. Okay? It was flipped. Opposite reciprocal.
The equation of line J is y equals neg negative 6 over 7x plus 9 over 8. Line K is parallel to line J. What is the slope of line K? Just because there's a bunch of fractions doesn't mean that this problem is difficult. It's just about as easy as it can get, okay? The key word here is parallel. If it's parallel, then I know we're talking about slope. And if we're talking about slope, one of these numbers is the slope to line J. Do you remember which one is the slope? The slope of J is negative 6 over 7. Okay, and if K is parallel to J, then the slope of K is negative 6 over 7. The equation of line B is y equals 6 over 5x plus 2. Line C is perpendicular to B. What is the slope of line C? Ooh, that's way bigger than I thought. Okay. So if that is line B, which one of those is the slope of B? 6 over 5. And if C is perpendicular, then what is the slope of C? Negative 5 over 6. I pause there just to make sure, you know, give yourself a little bit of time to answer it. I don't want to ask a question and then you have no time whatsoever. The equation of line G is y equals 3 over 7x plus 9 over 2. Line H is parallel. What is the slope of line H? So, yes, 3 over 7 is the answer. You don't have to write everything that I've been writing out. But since this is the slope of the original line, and it says it's parallel, and the question is what's the slope, then the answer is 3 over 7. Now we get to have a little bit of fun. Line E passes through the points 5, 8, and 10, 4. 10, 4, good, buddy. Line F passes through points 5, 13, and 10, 9. I'm just going to write this 9 right here so it looks a little bit better. Are line E and line F parallel or perpendicular or neither? Okay. So this is kind of why I'm using this notation, just so we can kind of keep our thoughts right and true. So I am going to find the what, because I have two points, I'm going to find the slope. Does anybody remember how to find the slope between two points? That's right y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, 4 minus 8 over 10 minus 5, negative 4 over 5. 4 over 5 does not reduce. We only have one negative, and it's already on top. So the slope of E is negative 4 over 5. So I found slope E, now I need to find slope F. Slope F. A same uh, formula. So 9 minus 13 over 10 minus 5, negative 4 over 5. So this and this are exactly the same, so they are parallel. and put the one right there. These are going to be the same questions, okay? So I'm not going to read everything out. The slope of f, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 
2 minus 10. Sorry, that is yucky. No, don't do that for me. No, 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 no. Come on. Erase. Erase. My dog needs to quit snoring. 2 minus 10 over 6 minus 9, negative 8 over negative 3. 8 over 3 does not reduce, but do not, do not, do not leave a negative over a negative. A negative over a negative equals a positive. So the slope of f is 8 over 3. Check, check. Done that. Slope of g. 1 minus 9 over 4 minus 7. 1 minus 9 is negative 8. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Again, a negative over a negative is a positive. These are exactly the same, so those are parallel. Line C passes through the points 2, 11, and 9, 6. Line D is perpendicular to, to C. What is the slope of D? So the slope of C is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I did not break out into a sweat by writing down those four letters and four numbers, okay? It's okay to write it out every single time, especially if you know that you're the type of person that can't remember it very well. If you write it down, you're more likely to remember it. So 6 minus 11 over 9 minus 2. 6 minus 11 is negative 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. So, uh, 5 over 7 does not reduce, and my negative is on top, so I am peachy right there. Line D is perpendicular to C. If C's slope is negative 7 over 5, and D is perpendicular, then what's the slope of D? If the yellow is negative, then our slope's going to be positive. Oh, no. Good. Not alive. Then our slope is going to be positive. And then we put the 7 on top and the 5 on bottom. Just because these next ones are really, really big numbers, do not think that it's going to be really, really hard. The slope of line E is blah, blah, blah. The equation for line F is blah, blah, blah. Are line E and line F parallel or perpendicular? If we're talking about parallel or perpendicular, we're talking about slopes. The slopes are right here. A positive 7 over 23. A negative 23 over 71. Compare. Perpendicular. I'm just in that kind of mood right now. Make it a little bit more legible. That's it. Have fun.